welcome back to my channel so today i'll be touring a halloween build as you can see behind me and i am dressed in my halloween costume which everybody on twitter picked for me um i think there was like a few options like there was a zombie a ghost and like witch and vampires and stuff and everybody chose a witch it just turned daytime and that literally scared me but anyways, so today I'm going to be touring this Halloween build that's behind me and I like how it is literally a year later and my shadow dragon still doesn't have a name. <laughs> I got my shadow dragon last year during the Halloween update and I still did not give it a name like even until now. So make sure you guys comment down below for a name for my shadow dragon and hopefully I will name it after this video if I remember or maybe we're gonna wait for next year, I'm not even sure. Okay, so I'm going to start at the entrance of this build, and over here, I love these fences. These are from the new update, and I feel like these, like, they gave a really spooky and Halloween vibes, because they're kind of like cricket and stuff. And as you guys can see, there are a lot of tombstones and also a bunch of pumpkins around the map. And there's also a bat dragon in the middle of the map. I actually don't know how he do that. I have no idea how he does that. I think it's like a glitch or something. So he, so he can like keep his bat dragon like in the way and like he, he's like hiding somewhere. I have no idea where the builder is right now. He's gonna jump scare us. And also over here you guys can see there's an evil unicorn cloud and I'm going to take out my evil unicorn. Oh, I cannot see that. Um, it's right here. I think. Okay. My evil unicorn is still tiny because I gave it a potion a, like a long time ago and it's still right there. So yeah and you can see it's okay you can't really see it because everything's black and it's kind of in like in the cloud so i'm gonna put it over there and so this is like kind of like i guess like a stormy cloud and it's over there and like there's like storms inside like, like kind of spooky and stuff i hope that there's gonna be like some sound effects maybe i'll ask them during the video to make it more spookier and there's like a bunch of like i think these are chairs i can see like a lot of buttons okay these are like chairs and you can sit over here. Oh, wait, I can sit over here. <gasps> oh, that's how it works. I can sit in the cloud. I like my unicorn can sit, like sleep on the bed and stuff. That's so cool. Okay, I did not think of that. I was like, I thought it was for the unicorn. And rip Theo. Who's Theo? I'm kind of concerned. There's like a lot of tombstones. Um, and on like every single one of these tombstones, there is a different name. So like a lot of people where pets died. So there's like rip Nina rip foo fighters <laughs> what and rip iggy oh i see him okay so here is the builder of the build and he's totally a real vampire please be scared okay yeah i hope you guys are scared because he wants you to be scared and his name is nika on the discord and also on twitter and here's his username i have absolutely no idea how to read this i'm just gonna show you guys it's like iso Grash. I think I don't know but yeah so here's his username and he also made a cave over here which have a dead noob in it and it says eat and drink um the noob what okay um I'm just gonna leave that there and there's also it says bat dragon I think this is the bat dragon's cave and he's gonna oh I think that's a bed for the bat dragon oh okay so there's also oh my gosh that's a bloodbath um I'm still gonna put my oh my gosh my unicorn is gonna draw in there okay you know what never mind <laughs> I like with the bubbles and stuff it's actually really scary oh my gosh and there's like a fog machine behind it but also over here there's a shallow cave I'm like touring everywhere I don't know where to go because there's so much stuff in the build where did my shallow dragon go okay my shallow dragon is here and we're gonna put the shallow dragon over here it can sit on it. oh that's really spooky I also put like the pirates like eye patch on my shadow dragon so like it looks extra scary and okay i'm kind of short i can't really see it hold on <laughs> it just spells myself out so you guys can kind of like kind of see that my shadow dragon is like over there in the fog and stuff i think that's like a volcano like evilish like volcano over there so like it's spinning like some like sort of potions and speaking of potions there is a witch house over here that's made for me because i'm a witch for halloween and so over here you guys can see a bunch of potions and there's like a small little table and some chairs and you can have like some spell books 
and also a chest and stuff. The space is quite small, which made it like really seem like a Minecraft witch hunt for me. I don't know why, but it gave me that vibes, like the whole like small little hut with like a bunch of stuff in it. It feels like Minecraft to me, like like it gave me like that sort of like Minecraft witch hunt like vibes. And so here is the yard. Overall, I think this yard looks super, super cool. I love it during nighttime because, like, the all the fogs and stuff, all the, like, the purple mist and stuff, it looks super, super cool and spooky. And, like, there's, like, a bunch of, like, tombstones and just, like, pumpkins. I feel like it gives a lot more of those Halloween vibes during, like, the nighttime and stuff. So now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna put my shallow dragon away so it doesn't scare the pet. <laughs> yeah. And oh, what is this? Spooky tips. Thank you for your visit and have an amazing Halloween. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so I hope everyone have an amazing Halloween as well, even though Halloween's not even here yet. So here's a little hunt, and I think this is like one of those little food stand, like a food court or something. And you can have like some drinks, some like pumpkin spice latte or stuff. And yeah, so he's already in there. I think he said something, but I did not see that. And on the door, Rip Jojo. <laughs> I'm really concerned about these names because um, Rip Iron Man. I so we're now gonna go into the build and there's a bunch of like these wooden stuff wooden planks on the door and okay he says something okay yes my favorite program the random colors on the tv that's really like that's really true you know dami on the tv it is always just colors he just flew away <laughs> what okay i okay so it says hello happy halloween over here as well this couch i love this couch i think this is like the sleek couch Oh, I've never tried to color that couch red. It looks really good in red. Okay, and over here there's a fire gate. We're gonna go down there last because something spooky down there, I think. I'm kind of scared to go down there. And there's a piano over here and also a foot water bowl for your pets. And I'm going upstairs. Okay, I really hope that it is nighttime because this build will be like 100% more spookier. But it is daytime and night times are somehow super short in about me now for some reasons. And on the second floor, have some statues and also a table. Um, it looks really empty, but it gave me like a I don't know a Breaking Point vibe. Is it is this like Breaking Point? Like if you guys ever played that game before, it feels like the Breaking Point, but Adopt Me and Halloween vibes. <laughs> and also over here, there's a dragon, a bat dragon, sitting on a throne and a bunch of chests and candles. And we're going upstairs again. So does it matter if I take okay th that's not the stairs. Never mind. Okay. We're going this way and here is the third floor. So I have my vampire exams. <laughs> what is a vampire? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's making this super super funny and super super scary. Okay, so here is a bed. Everything is red and there's blood everywhere. I think these are blood under the pet bed. Should I be concerned? There's blood under the pet bed. I feel like I should be concerned. I'm just gonna, yeah. So, um, there's pumpkins and skulls everywhere. Here's his desk where he studies for his vampire exams. And a bunch of books next to it. Looks like he's been working hard. <gasps> it's nighttime. Okay, yes. Oh my gosh, it's nighttime again. I am kind of lost in this castle because it's so big. And, okay, it's turned nighttime. Oh my gosh, this place looks so spooky during nighttime. There's another bloodbath. I haven't even noticed this. That's another bloodbath. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. I'm getting so many Halloween vibes. Oh my gosh, this whole build. Okay, so it is the nighttime. I'm going to take a look at the yard once again. It's so nice out here. Oh my gosh. I wish this could be my yard in real life. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so the yard looks super, super cool out here. You can kind of see the like the dinosaur skull on the throne as well. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I love the whole yard. Let me give you guys a first person view. I'm in love with this build. It really gets me into the whole Halloween spirit and stuff. And okay, so now it is time to go down to the fire gates. And I'm really excited for that because... It's gonna be really scary down there. I can't even tell. Like, with all the red on the outside and, like, all the pumpkins and skull, like, I know that's gonna be scary down there. Oh, what did he say? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, I'm just not gonna ask about that. Let's go down. Oh, do not disturb Cerberus' house. Welcome to your nightmares. Um, 
Oh, there's more signs. Okay. So you want to come here? Well, now you're getting... Well, now you're not getting out unless you have a fly pet. Oh. Oh, I do. I can get out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's under the fire gates. And, of course, there's a bunch of skulls. And I assume that these skulls are from people who do not have a flying pet. So it is really important to have a flying pet in Adopt Me. Okay, he just said... <laughs> You're now stuck down here forever. Nope. I got a flying pet. Okay, he said, well, I am too. <laughs> no, it's just you stuck here forever. I have a flying pet. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I assume that these skulls are just people who did not have a flying pet, and they're stuck down here forever, and they turn into skulls. I am going to go ahead and take a flying pet. Let's take my shadow dragon that still doesn't have a name, and we're going to fly out here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that actually scared me when I came down. I did not expect everything to be red, but like, at the same time, it's also kind of expected. Like, that's blood everywhere. But yeah, so here is the whole Halloween build. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely amazing. Now it's kind of daytime, so you guys can look at the castle a lot more. And there's like a bunch of towers up there, and like, it's really cricket and stuff, making it look like, like a witch tower or something. And also some patios and also that part of the stairs are out because the castle is broken. And my favorite part of this entire build is definitely the yard because it is super, super spooky and super, super detailed. And I love the whole vibe that the yard gives me. And that's overall the build. And thank you so much to him for letting me tour this amazing build. And yeah, what just happened? That scared me. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please leave a like. And also subscribe for more videos. And see you next time.